Hey guys, we continue uh, our tasting tour. I'm actually excited to see how you think this wine compares to the last wine, Dad. Ooh. This is, um, Mott, you ready for a little zoomy? Yep. This is the 2013 uh, Bello Family Vineyards Megahertz 2013 Cab. Now, Bello has been one of the most successful vineyards in our store in the last two years. Reserve Shard, Marsan. So Marsan. It's hundreds of cases of Marsan. And thousands well, I've, of I've cases. Heard of That's right. And thousands of cases of the Reserve Cab. Oh. This is their megahertz brand, fifty dollars retail. But shorter than that, no? Yeah, sort of. You're right. Short. Oh, I said that actually first. Anyway, nonetheless, uh, really excited about this wine. Really fun vintage, 2013. And more interesting to me, as we were kind of in between, as we're filming here, as you know, if you've been watching or coming to the store the last couple weeks and catching different shots. Every, uh, just to remind all of you, every late summer when. I come and visit Dad for a week. We're gonna to try to do these filmings about the wines we're most excited about going into the fall and winter season. Run them through the TVs in the store, which uh, hopefully Dad has now put in three or four new TVs. Absolutely. You promise? Yep. And so, uh, your, your hat fell. Uh, while in between, I just checked this wine. What I'm most excited about this wine is $50 retail on the, at the winery, a bunch of stores. Notice that Amazon, which doesn't ship to every state, is selling this for $27.99, we're at $24.99, and Amazon, price leader. the best price leader in the world, kind of speaks to our pricing advantage, which I'm proud of, which mm -hmm. you started as Shoppers Discount Liquors, and I feel like that has been a uh, backbone. And for the record, my library name I came up with. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Everybody gave Gary credit, but I... Well, they gave me the credit because I was instrumental in the building of the brand. No, no, there's no here we go. And foundation. You, no, no, foundation, foundation was there. You did was it. so solid. Unbelievably solid. Right. Like you, my wall. But, but I think. Right. I, yeah, absolutely. But I think you. I think. Do you feel like now as you've watched? Taking a, I'm not taking. I'm not taking. I'm not saying you're. But as you watch me go on to do other things. Effort. Of course, it's a combined effort. All right. Uh, father and son. Yes. And I always put uh, father first before you know business. You put being a father first. Yes. Which is why at 22 you allowed me so much autonomy to make decisions. Well, the first decision uh, you made to uh, move Sebastiani was quite. <laughs> we have a great. And, 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 and in for any of you old timers, right. if you're standing right now and you've been coming to Wine Library for. Since 19... 1983. Yes, but, but you've been there since 83. But I would say in, 19... in 1997. From 1995 to 1997, if you walked into the old store that was on Milburn Avenue and you walked in, the first thing you saw was a display of Sebastiani Chardonnay Max. 1.5. I finally convinced my dad, I'm like, Dad, we have to mix it up. It was literally there for two years. And I'm like a 17 no, year old. Longer. Probably, but I would only oh, been there you, for a couple yeah. years. I said, Dad, we have to mix this up. Finally gave me the green light, which was amazing. Mm -hmm. When I moved the display, the display was there the for so long. Right. The, the last the bottom case. You couldn't I couldn't. It. I, it was indented <laughs> in into, the tile. Yes. In the tile. It was unbelievable. The, yeah. Unbelievable. I wish I have an iPhone because now I take all sorts of pictures. Let's let yeah. hey listen. Let's focus on this real okay. one more time. You zoomed in already. Megahertz 2013. We just did the Shannon Ridge, which was phenomenal. Very I know you bought the Shannon Ridge, but I want your subjective opinion. It'll be fun to compete. I'm them. very subjective. I know you are. So let's sniffy sniff. Oh. I don't have the patience. Unbelievable. Tighter nose than the Shannon Ridge. Mm -hmm. A little bit of, uh, again, red fruit. A lot oh. of red fruit today. Yeah. Let's give it a whirl. Mm. It's a little bit lighter and sweeter. It's nice. It's got a lot more fruit. Yeah, it's nice. It finishes harder though. Not to me. Really? Mm -hmm. To me, it finishes with really dark tannins. I'm surprised it no, it's no, so no, much no, dark no. fruit. I lost my, you know, I killed my. There's a Bordeaux-like characteristic here. Almost like Madonna. Oh, we got some Bordeaux coming. I know we have some great Bordeaux coming. Well priced. Mm -hmm. A lot of cases still. You know, I like it. You like it because it's super balanced. So, this is extremely well made. Chocolate, For, right, coffee. Right, Hershey's. Mm -hmm. This is really well made. I like it. This winery really makes good wine. Very, very nice. Really strong How stuff. Now? Really strong stuff, uh, $24.99. Really strong chocolate, cedar, classic Cabernet. 
really reminds me a little bit more of, uh, you know what it really reminds me of? This is very old school, this is a little wine nerdy. I have no idea if anybody's gonna know what I'm talking about here. But there used to be a winery that I loved very much called Saddleback. I remember that one. Yeah, Saddleback Cat. From Stephen? Al yes, yes, vintage, very good. Is it? Niels Benge made the wine. He made the 85 Groth Reserve that got 100 Parker when Boy. there was no such thing as 100 I Parker. still got it. You still got it, mister. 1993 Saddleback Cab. Yeah. I bought everything Stephen had. Right. I, well, it was the first year we had the back wall. I'll yeah, never I forget. We really true. changed the store. And in the old store. And You were in college. I was in college. I came home that holiday season and we sold it all. I got a 92 or 93 Spectator or something like that. And this reminds me a little bit of it. Because of the coffee, Starbucks, chocolate, mocha thing, Bordeaux-like, and not Starbucks? as heavy. What happened Somewhere Starbucks? out west, they leveled the whole entire building. It's a hurricane. Okay. The whole building leveled. Sucks. Well structured, $24.99. I think this is a steal of a wine at this price point. This comes across to me like a $40, $45 cab, $40 to $60 That's Bordeaux. That's what I'm drinking tonight. It's got the horse on it. The horse. Really good wine. No, I like it. And has right? some ageability to it. Yeah. I like this a little bit better in Shannon Ridge. It's different. It's different. It's, it's different. different. Both very good. I like the chocolate cocoa, Bordeaux, little bitterness on the, you know? I like it. It's a I ting like lighter it. than Shannon Ridge. Yes. It's a it's little a lighter. lighter. Ting I lighter. think, you know what, uh, Shannon Ridge, you put away and and you drink in it? five, ten years even. It's going to be like... I think this is far more complex, though, in the finish. Like, a lot more complex, which I think is interesting to me. Yeah, Good wine. Right. Good wine. Thing. Yep. Right, now we have a doozy to end it up with. All right, we'll be back with the last wine of our fall and winter wines to pay attention to series.